Because because he kept he been coming at me all the last couple of days. I um uh, I mentioned that you know we're gonna get a little update on what's going on over in Wolfpack Land, and uh, nice. we do this each and every week. We got kids and gears rocking with us. Uh, <laughs> Locked on, hooked on, whoop pack. What's going on, brother? How you doing? Hey, listen, I, I think y'all are doing me dirty playing no scrubs before we come on the air. I know the wolf pack didn't perform well, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> <nice. laughs> you ain't got to bring out TLC to tell me how bad we are. We don't want to see it. Well, I mean, we don't want you to be no scrubs. Well, well, well Kenta, it, 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 it was a tough uh, uh, weekend for, for a couple teams in the uh, in triangle. One, except for, for the Eagles. Except for the Eagles. <laughs> but uh, what's going on with Woodpack, man? Talk to us, man. What's going on over there, man? You know, right now, this is a team that lacks identity. And the worst part about it mm. is NC State's identity has not been rooted in defense nor offense. And I know that that sounds crazy, but follow me here for a second. Mm -hmm. The Woodpack's identity has always been rooted in effort. That has been the calling card of NC State for so long. Mm -hmm. You look back at Peyton Wilson, mm -hmm. Isaiah Moore, and Drake Thomas, what were all three of those guys known for? Effort. Yeah. You look at Peyton Wilson's scouting report, people talked about how he was able to rack up hundreds of tackles, how he was able to rack up the stats he was, and it was all out relentless effort. Right now, I don't see that from any side of the ball. Players would rather spit on folks than do their assignments <laughs> with detailed effort. Wow. That is something that I look at here, and I say, if you can get that part back, everything else will follow. But right now, you have players who are where they're supposed to be. You're just missing tackles. That's effort. You have situations where guys are watching the ball go by them, jogging by. That's effort. You have scramble drills where defensive backs are plastering the receivers near them. That is an effort, effort problem. So, you know, when, when they get that together, they'll be all right. But at the moment, they're playing as if they're a bunch of five stars. And I'm, I don't know if Dorn needs to tell them or not, we don't have none of those here. <laughs> We, we just, you know, you you got to be the overachiever every snap if you want to achieve the goals that that were were laid out before this season started. Well, wow, he coming in hot, guys. He wow. coming in hot. I bet, I, bet we, I bet we don't play no scrubs no more. I know that's right. <laughs> I, won't, I, won't play, I won't play that again. Play oh, yeah, hey, Ty, you can't play that song no more. He, Ooh, he, he, he got him hot. He coming in hot. Y'all got to me so tough. I got to get to them somehow. You know, I got to get to them somehow. You know, they have been oh on national TV. I need my restitution. I need it. <laughs> Is it restitution, reparations, well, everything? everything. Well, I'm telling you. So, so Kent, look, here's a question I have, right? So all of what you said is 1 billion percent true, yeah. right? Where did that coaching staff lose that edge between last year, bring, saying that they were going to bring in Grayson and all this, until now? Where did they lose that edge? So I, I looked at a lot of – I went back because oftentimes when you see the problems of the present, you have to go back to the past to figure them out. And I look back at some tweets that I produced from early in the season last year on Locked on Wolfpack, and one thing that I constantly found myself saying is, thank God for Peyton Wilson. And this is against Virginia Military Institute now. This ain't no powerhouse. And I'm tweeting, thank God for Peyton Wilson. If he wasn't there, that play would have been ugly. And so he was the makeup. He was the mascara, the foundation that hid a lot of ugly blemishes. Not the mascara, Not the mascara was, on the, the foundation. foundation. Did he drop that? Mm. Go ahead, kid. Go ahead, Newt. You're walking out. Come on, you get, you get, <laughs> he was, let me tell you something. He was his best fancy beauty for this defense. You know? fancy, and, okay. Uh, so we don't got that no more. We need to take another trip to Alta. We it's just it's not looking great. But in all seriousness, this this is a moment where this is why I warn people about the portal because yes, you can get talent out of there, but you also lose a little bit of culture in there. You see moments like, and I don't know what's going on with this young man, so I don't want to speculate about him as a human being. But one thing that I can tell you is, you see guys like Red Hibbler, who was your leading sack guy last year now not even listed on the roster anymore. And you look at that as a moment of that is what I mean by that culture sometimes gets lost in the portal because you got a guy who was phenomenal with a get off, phenomenal at getting to the quarterback. But when you ask him to do more, when you ask him to take that play to another level for a consistent, hey, you got to stop the run too, you got to do the little things too, you got all of a sudden things get a little hairy because, again, you weren't in that system from day one. You didn't mm. come up as a freshman learning hard, tough together. That's the Wolfpack way of doing things. So, you know, you talk about all the guys you bought in in the portal. Some of them have not panned out in terms of talent. Others have not panned out in terms of, again, there's a Wolfpack way of doing things. There's a standard, and the standard is the standard, which is not being met at the moment. <laughs>
Wow. Woo. This is good I stuff. Playing. We're talking I'm to Kenton never, Gibbs. I'm never playing that song again. <laughs> Ever. So, so, Kenton, I got a question for you. We talk about the standard is the standard and Wolfpack holding up the standard. Well, one of the standards um, was not met on Saturday, and that's with Anthony Belton. Um, spitting on the player and being uh, kicked out of the game. Yep. Um, what yeah. has happened since then as far as any you consequences know, for him? You know, that's that's being handled in-house, but I don't believe that he'll be starting this upcoming week. So, I don't okay. for a multitude of reasons. Okay. Like I've talked about before, you know, this team is – the standard is the standard, and the way that you achieve that standard is by being a player-led team. Mm -hmm. Right now, mm -hmm. other than David Van, I can't think of any seniors that are leading by word and by deed. I can't think of one senior that I say, I'm pointing to this guy, and he has shown up every time. Maybe Dakari Collins could go in that category as well, because when he's been called upon, his number has been relevant. But I can't think of a single senior outside of that that is showing up. And so with the Belton situation, it's like, you know, you've been Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde for a couple years now. You show flashes where you look like you could be a first, second-round guy, and then there are other times where you look like, you know, you couldn't block somebody on Twitter, for Christ's sake. And I know Elon <laughs> about to get rid of the feature, but, I mean, come on, it's still here now. So, honestly, the, the Belton situation is one that I'm keeping my eye on closely. Mm -hmm. um, they're playing it pretty close to the vest, but, again, I would be shocked if he's the starter um, at the uh, beginning of this Northern Illinois game coming up this weekend. Oh, man, Kenton, t tell people real quickly how they can follow you because this is a great follow. Tell yeah, people how, how they Absolutely. can follow you, my friend. Absolutely. You can find me at Locked On Wolfpack or Locked On ACC on Twitter as well as TGIF underscore Kenton on Twitter. Just know you're getting the man, not the sports journalist there. And wherever you get your podcast, make sure you check us out. Locked on Wolfpack, locked on ACC. Man, dude, you rolling today, man. Hey, appreciate you, brother. We're going to talk to you in the – You're making this. me want to go to what Ulta is, right after is, I get off. Uh, what is it again? The standard is the what? Standard. The standard is the standard, baby. We don't, you don't change baby. that. You don't change it, you know. You can't change that. It's like radio. <laughs> hey, brother, we out, man. We out to take you, man. Thank you so much. That was good. I, I appreciate y'all having me on. You're the only one I love. And hey, you can't change you that. <laughs> You're the only one. The standard is the standard. That man, I mean, the man just called hey, me. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, between kids here, uh, Jim, uh, uh, Jim, uh, Jeremiah and uh, C.L. Brown. Brown. These guys, they come in, they come in, in hot, boy. But, but I like it, though, because if he said I don't get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Man, but that, was, that, that was good stuff there, man. Yeah, it, it was stuff. great stuff there, man. Standard man, we get you in. Keep it locked in. Standing to stand on the sports shop, too. Check us out on the side. DR Reese, K-Mac. Pam Tosh, Flip, a -Town. Listen every afternoon for The Drive with Tim Donnelly. Everyone's excited about Andy Dalton winning his first start, turning around the Panthers, and I get it. But it's not just Andy. Give credit to Robert Hunt.